Welcome to another Fast Start training session with Event Rental Systems. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how you just place an order and edit an order and we're also going to cover refunds real quick. So when you're wanting to place an order remember that there's two sides to the system. There's the admin side and there's the customer side which you can get to by clicking on your logo or if you don't have a logo your name will be over here and you can click on that that'll take you straight there assuming that your site is already live uh, you no longer have to use this long address to get into the site what you're actually going to be doing is just typing your site name in so in my case we're looking at fantastic jumps and if I just went to fantasticjumps.com I would see what the customers see but we're gonna add a forward slash and admin and when we go there that brings us to our login page I'm already logged in and uh, and then you're in your admin area now you're gonna see that it does automatically forward here because this is a secure area for um, keeping everything encrypted and safe so let's uh, take a look at what it takes to place an order. Placing an order from the back end, end or admin area is almost identical to what your customers would see with a couple of exceptions. One is that you're gonna see all the hidden items and all the items that are already rented and that gives you the option of adding things that you wouldn't normally allow your customers to add to their order by themselves. It also shows you what is already out so you know to not offer that or if you work uh, in a nice way with your competitors or other partners around your area you might want to intentionally overbook something say a generator for example in order to keep your sale so we're gonna go into book an event send a quote and place a uh, quick order here just to show you how it goes down I typically start with order by date by the time somebody's ready to place an order they know what date they want we're gonna select the date select the party time that they want this may vary depending on how you have your price rule set up we're gonna click continue click a category of our choice and as you can see we're seeing all these zeros because these things are already out for the weekend uh, I could overbook them but we're gonna go with one of the things that's still remaining a giant slide we're gonna add that to the cart and even even your you and your staff are gonna see the suggested add-ons uh, in here as you can see we intentionally overbooked six chairs this coming weekend that's because we know that we can get them from another source so we're gonna go ahead and add to uh, actually not add to our cart we're just gonna check out at this point and in here if they've ordered before you can go to find an existing customer here's my last name see what we get and uh, yeah I've placed quite a few fake orders in here so we're gonna go ahead and pick this one that automatically fills out all my information otherwise we could type all of this in it's very important that you have their most recent email address uh, the email address is what ties customer orders together so we go through here make sure all the stars at the minimum are filled out this is the reference how did you find find us and click continue now on the next page you have the option of filling in all that information if it's the same and this is not something that you're gonna see on yours unless you add it this is us asking a specific question which is part of the order options in the uh, system setup so this is uh, something else that we'll cover in other videos I'm gonna scroll down select a surface and by the way these surfaces can have automatic fees attached to them set up in your product categories if they have a coupon that's great if you want to add some comments these are going to be uh, shown to your customer as well so don't put any personal comments in there because this is all just like what they're seeing all the way until you see the admin area this is also another order option that you can either add or get rid of and now we're in the admin area this is the part that you see that the customers will not see 
So let's say that you have uh, you want to give a discount. Now my advice is always use the coupon code because at the end of the year or whatever season you're looking at your reports will show which coupons were used. So if you're doing a friends and family discount for a hundred percent because you're gonna give it to your mom or your brother for a hundred percent off you can do 100 and add a percent sign and that gives it to them for free but I'd really recommend that you set up a coupon in advanced options coupons to uh, make a friends and family coupon so I do something like FF100 and that makes a free rental that I just don't tell anybody about we use it internally and that way I can track at the end of the year to see what kind of discounts I've given but if you're on the fly and you got kind of a strange discount you can certainly do it in here if you wanted to give them a fifteen dollar discount you do that and if you want to do a fifteen percent discount you just add the percent sign on the end uh, don't use a dollar sign in any of this area uh, same thing with miscellaneous fee do you have stairs going into the backyard do you have a tiered backyard yes how many stairs do you have we have twelve all right, well, we charge a dollar a stair, so that's a $12 miscellaneous fee. So that's what you use for the miscellaneous fee. And um, the system is automatically tracking who's logged in while you're taking the order so that we can see a log later. These notes in here will show up on the driver's load sheet uh, for the master sheet that tells them where to go and when. Um, this will not show up on the customer's side. Uh, in the assessment you can choose good or problem customer. This is uh, currently just gathering the information but uh, we have an update coming out shortly that will be able to pull up some cool reports with that. And assessment notes this is where you might want to write hey they uh, paid with a bad check but they made good on it later or something like that. This isn't going to show to the driver or to the customer it's just for internal notes and you can look it up later if you need to. In here we have uh, some ways to override some of the automatic fees like the travel fee or the tax rate. If it's a nonprofit and you want to override it to zero, uh, you can just put zero percent in here and that'll override the tax. Uh, same with the deposit. Um, rain check if they have one you can apply it at that point and uh, we'll be adding some other options in here soon, but th those are the basics. Let's click continue, and it says, ah, I didn't answer all the questions. So we say OK, and we look for the one that I missed, and I already know what it is. We're going to select this one up here, and um, I don't think I pointed this out earlier. This is an option that you can add in and you can add those order options uh, these additional options at the top or the bottom of the page so we did one for each and um, let's give it another try see if it lets me go alright so now we're up to the payment area now if you're taking this over the phone and you accept credit cards then you can select their credit card take their information over the phone um, if uh, you would like to reserve it for them but you're not taking deposits or they're going to pay with a company check later you can click this I want to make alternative payment arrangements and continue that way and that way the system is not actually collecting the deposit at this time uh, deposits are totally optional it's set up in system setup deposits we'll cover that in a separate video you can also send it as a quote at this point now customers do not get check cash or swipe card these are not options to them uh, ever and alternate payment is a setting that you can either allow them to see or not uh, depending on whether or not uh, you want them to have that option so uh, once again this is a difference between what the customers see and what you see and now if you want to make a change to their order or you just want to hold it and it's not a done deal yet you can click continue without a receipt and that way they do not get a receipt uh, it's it's simply showing uh, that you've held the order for them 